I thank you for tuning in to part three of this three-part video series of Doing Touch and Goes here at the Charlotte Monroe Executive Airport. When I started today's flight, I had the traffic pattern to myself. But now I have two other aircraft in the pattern. One's ahead of me and the other is making a straight in approach to runway 05. To maintain spacing, I've extended my downwind leg quite a bit. The aircraft ahead just reported on a two mile final, so I should be okay to turn onto the base leg since I am nearly three miles from the airport. I'm now established on the base leg, but as I said, pretty far out. I remain vigilant for the aircraft ahead of me because I really don't know if his perception of a mile and mine are the same. My traffic just reported on short final, so I should be okay turning on to the final from here. Car beat on. Power reduce. Add in another 10 degrees of flaps. And let's start down for the runway. This will be a short field landing with a stop and go. Some more flaps. Come check. Gasoline, both. Undercarriage, down and locked. Actually bolted down on this airplane. Mixture, rich. Propeller, no propeller control on this airplane. Everything looks and feels good, so we're a go for landing. Flaps full down. Did you catch that? I just flew over a red tailed hawk. Flaps up and brake. And stop before the first taxiway with feet to spare. Now for a short field takeoff. Pull the brakes and throttle up. Brakes release and accelerate down the center line. At VX, pitch back to best angle of climb attitude. The airplane lifts off and climbs quickly. 
At 50 foot AGL, I can pitch forward slightly and flatten out the climb for a little better view and a more comfortable airspeed. Now, around the pattern again for another landing. I'm back on the left downwind, about to start down for the runway. I beam the end of the runway, carb heat on, power reduced to start down, flaps to 20 degrees. Roll left onto base leg. This time I will not land and will practice a go around. Roll level for a moment and do a quick assessment. Altitude, airspeed, and airplane all look good, so let's land. Turn left on to the final. Full flaps. Let's pretend a fuel truck just drove onto the runway right in front of us. So let's go around. Throttle up to max power, car beat off, arrest the rate of descent, and when the airplane begins climbing, bring up the flaps a little bit at a time. Hold a sensible pitch attitude for the climb, and as the flaps retract, the airspeed will increase, and the airplane will begin to climb more vigorously. We are now safely clear of the fictional threat on the runway and climbing higher and higher on the upwind leg of the pattern. Ready to go around and do this again. Back on downwind, I reduce the power. Add an additional 10 degrees of flaps and start down. Turn on to the base leg. I think this one will be a standard run-of-the-mill landing to a full stop on the runway and finish up today with a short field takeoff. Roll level for a moment and size up my overall situation. All looks good, so we're go for landing. Add some more flaps. And turn on to final. Now another short field takeoff. Hold the brakes and throttle up. Brakes release. Rotate at VX and hold that attitude. Climb briskly to 50 feet AGL. Then flatten out a bit and climb normally. 
One more time around the pattern before calling it a day. Back on downwind and reducing power to start down. I chop the throttle to idle to simulate a failed engine. I immediately turn toward the runway and shorten up my normal pattern. I delay lowering any more flaps until I can be sure I can make the runway. Things are looking good, so I level out for a moment and take stock. I again start turning toward the runway. It's better to be a little bit high than to be even one foot low. I'm doing really well on managing altitude and I feel comfortable adding in some flaps. I am high, so I extend full flaps. Everything looks good. Nice approach angle and speed and only slightly high, which is better than hitting the approach lights. We're down with plenty of runway ahead. Flaps retract. Carb heat off. And I let the airplane coast down the center of the runway. The yellow taxiway center line is coming up and I will follow it off the runway. Time to head to the tie down area and call it a day. I want to thank you for riding along this afternoon and for watching. Remember, life is a journey. Enjoy the ride.